Hi everybody, in today's video I will be demonstrating the use of tag point to get the AI to move to a specific location. Just a quick briefing on what AI is. AI stands for artificial intelligence. They are simple computer characters that are set to behave or mirror certain human behaviors and characteristics. The main purpose is demonstrated in computer games. AIs can be found in the form of simple monsters or civilians in computer games. Um, popularly they are non-player characters, NPCs. They could be quest masters or characters that you go to within the game for help. Alright, to get started we would first need to insert an AI. To do this we press Entity and underneath AI we drag the grunt. Before we drag the grunt I would just like to say, point out, it is in good practice to have follow terrain selected, this one, cause when I drag the grunt into the terrain, if this wasn't on, the grunt may be floating or be beneath the terrain. Having this on keeps the grunt above the terrain, just standing on it, like so. Once the AI has been placed, we would need this AI to go to a set location. This is achieved using a tag point. The tag boy point is found underneath AI, and here it is, tag point. Okay, I want the grunt to walk here. Okay, let's just place it here. Now, if we were to jump into the game, the AI would not walk to the tag point, which is where we want it to walk to and this is because co um, the grunt and the tag point have no links the grunt just stands there but if he were to see me he would start attacking like so. All right. let's go back before we can start creating an, um, the link let's disarm the AI makes it easier for us select the AI the grunt in this case and in the properties where it says equipment pack AI oh it's already been done so that's fine the grunt has no weapons just have this empty and press OK so now we need to get the grunt which is the AI um, linked with a tag point. This is achieved using something called the flow chart or flow graph. Um, we click tag point in the properties, press create and in the flow graph, new. Let's give it a, a reasonable name, AI tag. Press OK. We're going to be displayed with this window saying flow graph. Here is this is what we use to create the flow graphs. So first, uh, mm, we would like um, the AI to follow the t to go to the tag point when the gameplay timer starts. So to achieve this, we would need to add a node. Let's add the start node. Right click, add start node. The first node is easy. Next, the second node, we press um, the right mouse button, add node. AI, AI go to. For the third node, which is the tag point, right click the mouse again, add node, entity, and tag point. There we go. Now that we have all three nodes, we need to assign them the tag point and AI go to. You can see it says choose entity. This is simply done by selecting the object itself. Select the grunt and right click here press assign selected entity. We do the same for tag point. Simple. Now that we have all three nodes ready and they have been assigned, we can link them up. So from the start node, where it says output, drag this onto sync, which is on AI go to, and tag point position onto AI go to position. And that's it.
don't forget to save it save it with the same name that you first did Tech. all right now save yes replace please now we're done just close this window make sure you're not in the view of the AI or he's gonna start chasing you over the game and just watch him walk into attack point there you go and that's it so this tag point can be moved anywhere and the AI um, would make its way there um, the AI pathway has to be um, cleared it should not be obstructed or he, he won't be able to go to the tag point I'll show you so this tag point can be moved anywhere so I can get the AI walk sorry get the AI to walk here let's just jump oh he's there he's walking well that's it um that's the end of the AI tag point video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.